also had um, silver and gold. I should have waited. I got them at Target, but it's okay. Those look nice. I'm gonna get this for the Sharpie reward. For these. Fancy too. Since I can't get those, let me see what these are. Oh, these are cute. Are these the same? Yes. Oh, these are champagne. And these are wine. I'm gonna get these, I think, and then I'm gonna go to Party City to try to see if I can find some square plates. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day today. So as you guys already saw from the beginning of this video, this little montage, yesterday we had cheeseburger egg rolls. I will link those down below. I did leave out pickles and mushrooms and I should not have left those ingredients out because it was a little flavorless without the dip. Um, and then this morning I went to Target, I went to Party City, and I went to Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna tell you why when we get over there. So let's get over there, so I'm gonna show you a haul. Oh, I'm trying to work with my hair. I'm trying not to be that girl, but I really just, I don't like it. I really don't like it. And thank you guys for being so sweet. Um, not that I needed validation, but I guess maybe I did need validation. So thank you for validating my feelings. I really do appreciate it because, um, it's hard. It's hard to like, it's hard to go for the, to the salon thinking you're going to get one thing and then you get another. And I'm going to be honest, like I'm getting used to the length, but I don't like the style at all. If she wouldn't have given me these short bangs i feel like i would be okay but that's where i feel like i'm i don't know it's whatever but thank you guys for being so sweet anyways i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my haul we today are gonna do like a little fancy picnic with a charcuterie board kind of vibe deal that i want to make special for me and my kids so um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today, and I went to Target to try to find some things, then I went to Dollar Tree to see what they had before I went to Party City. I'm going to show you what I did get from Dollar Tree. Now, this is just basically like us feeling fancy and wanting to romanticize life and feel special and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm not going to use these, but I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I was like, these are freaking beautiful. I can't not get them. So there's only six in each and they're salad plates, as you can see. Again, I don't know when I'll use them, but they're so beautiful. I will eventually use them and I couldn't pass them up. So yeah, if you're into them, go check out Dollar Tree. I also got these cute little bowls right here. They're just plastic little bowls. These are like good quality. So I'm like legit gonna use these, not just for our charcuterie board tonight, but for dipping sauces and all kinds of stuff. And there's six of them. I probably, no, like I probably should have gotten more, but no. And I think that, yeah, they're reusable. So you can't go wrong there. They're only a dollar twenty-five, <laughs> And, um, 
it's not bad for six. And again, you can have uses for so many different ways. I wanted to make the kids feel fancy and special. So I got these, but then I also got these little plastic wine glasses because I wasn't sure what they were gonna be feeling. So I gave them choices. So they got choices. So that's everything I got from the Dollar Tree. Because again, I did not, I, by the way, I've, I've already washed all this stuff. So yeah, just like, I didn't dry, I didn't, as you can see I didn't dry it, I washed it. Um, so that it can just be ready for us to go when it's, you know, time for dinner or whatever. But this is what I ended up, I was at Party City forever, like forever, but this is what I ended up getting. I really like the little kind of like dots around it. It just makes it look a little fancier. And again, I wish it was square, but it's okay. It's gonna be super cute. I got four of these. And these are actually plastic. So I ended up going with this because they had some really pretty plastic plates where like disposable. But I was like, if I'm gonna spend that much, I might as well just get plates that I can reuse that I like the design of. So I like those, so I got those. And then this is going to be our charcuterie board. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited, can you tell? Like I was like all oh, like, I was excited to like, aesthetically, like make this aesthetically pleasing, you know? Cause that's just, that brings me so much joy too. Um, these, oh my goodness, are you freaking kidding me? They're rose gold silverware. I mean, it's plastic, it's disposable, but it's just so pretty. So one thing I didn't do, I do have napkins. I wasn't, I looked at the fancy napkins and I was like, mm. I'm just gonna do some regular white ones, but how pretty is that? And actually, these are, this is really good quality, like, no lie. Uh, this was $5 from Target. So, um, I also, y'all, it's plastic. So this, from now on, will be Ava's wine glass, juice glass. <laughs> we drink, we drink juice. We, we don't drink wine, obviously. Duh. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, y'all. Um, this is glass. This one's plastic. I'm very impressed. Like, I literally couldn't tell. Now Now that I'm looking close, I can tell because you can see the seam in the plastic. But other than that, like, I wouldn't be able to tell. Like, it looks really freaking good. I also washed this as well. So, like, like I said, all ready to go. Um, my friend was talking about, because, again, I'm probably going to be wearing my hair up most. Because I styled it today, and I'm just... And I, I, I don't want to keep harping on it. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. And again, someone commented, no matter how many people say that they like your hair, if you don't like your hair, none of that matters. And it's so true. It's like I look in the mirror and I'm like, but literally there are nothing but nothing but kind comments from you. So I really do appreciate it y'all. Like you guys seriously, truly are the best. But she was showing me, and I thought that hers was gold. And when I showed this to her, she was like, wait, you got gold? And I was like, yeah, isn't yours gold? And she's like, no. And I was like, well, this is the only thing that they had. But she really loves it because she says that, you know, you can, like, lay your hair flat, like, if you're driving or if you're sitting on your couch or whatever. And well, I don't have a high back on my couch. But, you know, basically, if you lay your head back on anything, it's going to you know, be able to lay flat. So I was like, okay, cool. So I got that. I got some bread for my kiddos and some hot dog buns for my kiddos. And then um, the one thing the hairdresser did tell me, she was getting on to me. She was like, your hair is very dry. What do you use before heat? And I was like, nothing. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. And I know I should have because I know better, but I got some Tresemme heat tamer, leave-in spray. Um, and then I got this fancy little carafe. Look how pretty this is. It's lined in gold. Like this is gorgeous. I mean, and we're gonna be bringing our diet cranberry juice down there. So I'm gonna fill the cranberry juice. I'm gonna do everything down there. So I'm just going to, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna transfer this. I guess I'll just have one of the kids cause I have one in the fridge right now. That's what we're gonna use. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna transfer, put everything into my cooler and then 
carry all this stuff down there and then when we get down there it'll I'll just I only have three minutes on my memory card what's on my memory card um but I'll be able to transfer it and then from there I'll be able to transfer I'm talking about my memory card I will be able to I want to make the char the charcuterie board down there so I'll show you guys all of that but yeah we're gonna like Fill this up with our diet cranberry juice and just, you know, like the whole thing. Oh, just romanticizing life, feeling fancy and, and special and, you know, making my kids feel that way too. That's why I got them these. If they didn't want to drink out of these, they can drink out of these. Um, so yeah, that's what I got today. Um, it's been a good day today. It's 3.30. I currently need to go uh, do some editing, so I'm going to do that. And then I will see you guys later when we get on to doing this charcuterie board. And I can't wait to see and show you guys how it all comes out. Because I have the vision in my head. I'm just hoping it kind of comes out looking that way. So. Oh my gosh, guys. So I totally forgot to tell you I got these earrings. $7.99 from Target so good you need these like do you see how the rhinestones or like the cubic zirconias are like right here and they're right here on the inside <sighs> love i have a pair of gold earrings like this from nordstrom and they were pretty expensive these were literally seven dollars and 99 cents so you can't beat that they actually had a lot of really cute earrings and I was like real tempted but I was like Jill no step away from the earrings now those hoops you can go get but everything else step away from okay so I know this lighting sucks but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing because I'm gonna go ahead and make the rose here and I'm going to just put it in this little container and hopefully it transfers okay I also went ahead and I cut my cheese up into cubes um and this right here my kids don't like salami i didn't want to eat salami hold on hold on y'all like the lighting is just really awful okay that's better um i really didn't want to eat because it's so high in fat i'm gonna not gonna do salami i'm doing well the kids will eat this turkey pepperoni too but i still want to make the rose and what i'm doing is i got some ham and you know usually you need something that's circular so let's see do you can i'm just gonna try it on this one i just have this cup that is a stemless wine glass and what i'm doing is i'm just taking the ham and i'm just laying it flat onto my cutting board okay and I don't know how many pieces I'm going to need. Let's just go ahead. This is maybe about six. But I want to cut it into a circle. So I'm just taking the taking a one cup measuring cup and taking the bottom. I'm going to set it on there like so. I'm going to take my knife and just cut around it. So that way I can get a circular piece of ham. The best way that I can. I hope that wasn't too thick. So I can try to get me as pretty of a rose that I can get. Hopefully that went through. And no, I don't waste food. So this, this ham will get eaten. The one that I'm cutting away from. Because uh, I don't like to waste food like that. But... Okay, I'm just going to put it right back in with the little pile of ham that's over here, you know. And I have just like a little bit on the corner over here on the back side. So I'm just going to take my knife, cut it. Hopefully we'll have some pretty good circles to work with so here we go I've got my glass like I said I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need but I'm just gonna take one slice at a time 
And all you do is just lay it over the glass like so. And then you just overlap the second piece like so. I'm probably gonna need that whole thing in hand because if I'm not mistaken, I think what you do is you, I don't know how many layers you do. I've only done this once and it actually didn't come out good because the lunch meat that I used was not circular. So literally this is all that you do, okay? So I'm just gonna repeat that same process over again. And then I'm just gonna keep repeating this process until, so like, here is my second layer of ham for the second go around. And then I'll just start right here, right here. What I'm probably gonna do is use this whole package. So, okay, so I have all of the ham right here, okay? I have my little package. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take it. You see that? And that's so pretty. And then you just release. Release. <laughs> release my flower. And isn't that so pretty? Let me show you. This is the best one I've made. That looks so good. It looks so good that I kind of want to do a turkey one now, but I think I'm just going to do one because we also have the pepperoni. Like I said, my kids don't. They eat more crackers and cheese than anything, y'all. Okay, this looks so good though. So hopefully it's gonna transport beautifully. I'm just gonna put it in this little thing right here. And I'm gonna get my grapes ready. And um, a couple more things and then we'll be ready to go down and assemble our charcuterie board. Have us a little picnic, I'm excited. Cheddar cheese, pepperoni, mozzarella, some more grapes, some nuts. It looks so good. And then here's our little plates with our little forks. And Control has that one. And Ava has. Ava, can I see that one closer? They put Sprite in theirs, by the way. So there's her little wine glass. So cute. So we're about to eat. Chow down and eat. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers.
that's your type So now I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark We're dreamers Hey y'all, happy Tuesday I hope you're all having an awesome day today So the kiddos had an early dentist appointment. So anyways, um, I got them an ice cream ice cream cone from McDonald's, of course. I know, I know. It's, it's, they just got their cavity filled. I, I get it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it was a traumatic experience for both of them. So I was, I needed to get them a treat. So anyways, uh, we went to the dollar store because they wanted these things. I was looking for butterfly clips because I'm realizing I like my hair. I don't like it down. I like it clipped back. So I have it currently with bobby pins, but I wanted some butterfly clips. They didn't really have what I was exactly what I was looking for, but I went ahead and picked some up anyways. But the kids wanted some balls for the pool. I also got them each a noodle. I got myself a loofah. And I also got them some candy. <laughs> These are Ava's. How cute are these mini rainbow frogs? They're so cute. And then I got, Contrell got the Haribo peaches. These things are good. Um, and then these are the little butterfly clips that I got. So I really just was looking for, I was actually looking for something clear or brown. Now that I'm looking at these, I'm like, I don't know that I'm gonna like these at all, but it's gonna hold me over until I find the actual clips. It's so hot out there. Uh, then I got some bobby pins because I think I told y'all that I I don't know where mine are. Like I've seen them, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's weird. So I was like, let me just get some. Um, and then I got some nail polish. So some navy blue and this confetti looking sparkly. <sighs> so yeah. Um, we're not really gonna do much. I'm kind of like, I wanna go to the pool, but then I kinda don't. But then I kinda do, cause it's hot out there. Um, Ava is getting her hair braided tomorrow. I found someone. I had been messaging people and like no one was getting back with me. And I'm like, does no one just wanna do her hair? Um, but she's gonna get her hair braided and then Contrell wants to get his hair cut. So I need to find a barber and um see about getting his hair cut probably not tomorrow but sometime this week see i started a trend they they they, they saw me no, i'm just kidding <laughs> we actually had all this planned so anyways yeah we're doing that tomorrow she's super excited i'm super excited because i get to see her beautiful face again because i never get to see her face it's always covered so that's happening this week as well and then we just have lots of pool days planned because it's hot it's hot out there um i need to try on those shirts for you guys the buffalo shirts that i told you last week i know i said i was gonna do it first thing and then i ended up i know but hopefully y'all aren't too mad it's still it's still gonna be in this vlog so i'll see i'll see y'all in a few so we can film that shirt haul from amazon i also got this other shirt i'll explain about it in a minute okay so i have a question y'all you yourself cuss right you know that your children cuss I don't cuss. You almost said the F word in front of her. Because I was mad. I was so mad. So your child comes and asks you, can I cuss in front of you? What would your reaction be? So here's the thing. I had told him before, you can cuss in front of me. I cuss in front of them. He's making me start over because he was in the background doing something silly. And I want to keep it because it was funny. But anyways, you yourself cuss, okay? And you cuss around them. I don't do it, do I do it all the time? He says that I do. I feel that I don't. Ava, do I cuss all the time? Not, not really. Mm. Literally, you were cussing yesterday about how your phone was being really stupid. Mm. I don't remember this. How? You were, you were like, <gasps> And you started saying the S word and the, you know. Uh-uh. So anyways, yeah. they're telling me right now. I, I do cuss. Um, so I know that Contrell cusses. 
and you know these are like the things like as your child grows up it's like you know so i had told him before you can cuss just don't ever cuss at me like if you cuss at me which i know he would never do he did cuss in front of me before and i was like trying to be a cool mom mm, it just doesn't work for me i'm you can't i can't do it what did you even i think you just said ass right so it wasn't even that bad and now he's all like do you want can i cuss in front of you and i'm like again trying to be the cool mom like i know that he does why not it's like no big thing but what would y'all do i want i want comments what what would you do what did you do because obviously we know our kids are doing it we can't like stop them like i can't just tell control don't cuss like ever i mean i guess i could but is he gonna listen to me i mean and then i cuss how could i tell him not to so i don't know but i would love to wait i would love y'all to weigh in because I would just love some different perspectives. I'm, I think I'm going to tell him yes. And just see how, how it is for me and how I handle it. And if it's like, you know. So, weigh in down below and let me know. Okay, so this is the first shirt that I got. I absolutely love it. This is an extra, extra large. And I think that it looks really good as far as like the sizing when I am wearing a sports bra and also when I'm wearing leggings. So for now, this will definitely be like a workout shirt, but I, uh, well, workout slash casual, like I should have slash could have worn it today because we were just kind of, you know, chill, but it just has the Buffalo and Buffalo's area code is 716. I love this. This they had in so many different colors and just so cute. So I got this and I also got it in white in the men's sizing. I don't like this sports bra shows and then it's like actually tighter through the hip and the lower stomach than the women's one is but well I mean it's it's longer but it's tighter so I'm definitely going to send this one back but it's the same design as the last one with the little buffalo and the 716 I love this color blue it's probably why I love this color blue so much is because I'm from buffalo but you just have the b f l o and in the o you have the little buffalo which is so cute. I love it. It has like a little vintage feel to it. Uh, this one also is an extra, extra large. I'm showing these to you guys because number one, Amazon haul. Number two, if you want any city, I'm sure they have any city. This one's just Buffalo because, you know, like I said, I'm originally from Buffalo. But yeah, and I was like, I need to get some Buffalo gear because I literally, well, no, yeah, I have none. I used to have some shirts. And y'all, I got rid of so much stuff in the move. Should I have, I should have some better lighting going on here. Sorry about that. Um, that's a little better, right? But yeah, I got rid of so much during the move. Some things I look back and I'm like, mm, I shouldn't have got rid of that. Oh, I shouldn't have got rid of that. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna show you the last Buffalo shirt that I got. And then if y'all know me at all, you know I love a good pink moment. So of course I had to get this one in pink. And this one just has, what? what is this, like latitude and, what's the other, longitude? It's the direction, you know? Whatever. It's where it's located, I guess. That's how to explain it. <laughs> it just says Buffalo. Again, it's super cute. Um, some of you might not like these because of the fact that they're not like flowy or loose, but I'm losing weight. And I know I've been saying this for the past five, six, seven years, but I'm for real losing weight this time. Like I did all the healing that I needed to do. I mean, I'm sure I still have some healing to do, but I'm in a really good place mentally, you know? And I'm just ready. I'm ready. I've acknowledged all the reasons why I wanted to continue to stay overweight. 
and they're just not valid anymore. They're not valid and they're not okay. So I've been working really hard. I lost, was it 14 pounds in three weeks? So I'm doing really good. Um, and I'm really proud of myself about that, but I think these would be really good for work, working out too. So yeah, got this. Let me show you this one shirt. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. I got the biggest size, which is the 2XL. And I was like, it's flowy. And it's like kind of like um, a more oversized kind of look and feel to it. So I know it's going to fit. It does fit really great. You have the little straps right here. This little crochet bit right here. And then in the back, it has this little button with the keyhole. It looks great. It really does. It looks fabulous. It's a beautiful color. So me. But I put this on to go to wear this yesterday. And again, obviously I had on a strapless bra. Looks much better with a strapless bra. And looks great, right? Nice and flowy, perfect size. Love the length. If you wanted it a little shorter, you can always tie it. Here's the thing. This material is so incredibly soft. But this kind of material I have issues with. You might not be able to see it as much with these leggings. But if I wear anything other than leggings, like shorts or jeans or anything, my stomach just jiggles and jiggles and jiggles. And this material is just going to show every little jiggle that you may have. Like I said, I don't know if it's doing it. And if it is, it's probably not doing it that bad with these leggings. But because I would not be wearing this with leggings and I would be wearing them, I would be wearing this with shorts or pants. I'm going to send this back. But y'all, they have so many colors. If I did not notice the jiggle, I'm going to be honest. If I didn't notice the jiggle, I was actually going to order this in black and then order a different style that I saw along with this as well. But again, I just, just really self-conscious. So... It's so soft. It's so soft. I did want to mention that though, because again, it is a good shirt. It is a really, really, really good shirt. This is what it looks like in the back. So booty coverage, all that. I just know I don't really, I wear leggings. These are workout leggings. I wear them to work out in. That's really about it. So yeah. I'm going to send this one back. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed my haul for today. Um, I've got to get a lot of work done. So that's probably going to be it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today has been like a complete shit show. So we went to the dentist yesterday. Contrell's filling did not do properly. He has a sharp tooth. So... I have to take them to the dentist tomorrow. They both have doctor's appointments in the morning. Ava got her hair braided. She literally cried the whole entire ride home and then probably like an hour after. So she hates her hair. Her braids are already unraveling and coming undone. Can check out a job today. That's exciting. I'm feeling so overwhelmed and just so like. <sighs> That's how my day is going. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe a shit show too. <laughs> hey guys, happy Thursday. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, happy Thursday. Uh, so Ava got her hair braided yesterday, left in tears, like mother, like daughter. She, how long did you cry, Ava, for like over an hour? Again, like mother, like daughter. So I told her, I was like, you know, this is what she's not liking. Some of the braids were coming undone. So we, um, 
she was like, well, come back tomorrow. Ava wanted beads, so she sent me to, so she sent me to a beauty supply store so I can pick up the beads, and she's gonna take out the weave hair that she has in her hair, like in her braids, because she like braided it in her whole entire head. I thought she was just doing the ends, um, so I, I don't know. So anyways, uh, that's where we're heading, and then Contrell with his dentist appointment the other day. They must not have did his filling or the something about the, I guess the, maybe they didn't do the, yeah, the filling, like the filling stuff properly because he has a sharp tooth. So we have a dentist appointment at one. We're trying to rush. They had an appointment, they had appointments early this morning. Oh, I'm like, I should have waited to go, but um. But yeah, they had doctor's appointments this morning, so it's been super busy. This week has been like super busy, cram packed with like dentist appointments and Ava's hair, and I need to figure out a place to go get Contrell's hair done because he wants his hair cut. It's just a lot, a lot going on, but that's where we're at. I will show you guys Ava's hair once it's done, and fingers crossed that she loves it. Like, that's all I want for her is to love her hair. Um, she kind of is already like hesitant because she doesn't like her hair in braids, period. Um, <clears throat> but I just think because it's like so hot this summer that just so much hair, you know, and it'll just be so much easier for her to manage. So I'm like, it's just for the summer. Um, so yeah. You guys have anything to say? Oh, <gasps> can try out a job yesterday. You want to tell them all about it? You killed the interview. Um, so, the, uh, the girl there, <laughs> the girl that asked me, like, what are my qualities, and to talk about myself, and so I said, um, I'm creative, and I want to work in the fast-paced environment with customer service, and I said, I'm able to do, uh, I could be a cashier, or I could, like, work out the window, or I can clean just like whatever I'm very flexible and so she said that she'll have me start learning the grills because I said I was really, really interested in like working with food and cooking and stuff and so she said that she's gonna train me to work with the grills and I'm really excited for that because that's I, I really want to be like cooking and stuff so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be cooking. Mm. and um, I went through a lot of paperwork and I had to fill in like stuff I didn't really know what some of it was. There was this one thing about like tax or something. I think it's called like withhold. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I asked her like what that was. And she was like, oh, just like put like whatever you want to go there. And I was like so confused still. So then I texted her and she was her? like, just put zero. So I was like, okay. Well, there's a Sonic right there. So I put zero. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start in a week from now. So yeah, so he has orientation next week, and then uh, the next day I guess he'll start. So yep. <sighs> y'all congratulate him. He's very happy. I am going way over this week. But yeah, he's super excited. We're super proud of him, and I know it's gonna be a big change. I had talked to y'all about this and me kind of not being ready, but. <clears throat> You know, it, it's time you have to kind of let your kids, you know, be independent and, and do their thing. And, and yeah, it's hard. It's hard. But he's going to be great. They're going to love him. I know they are. And, um, yeah, I'm just so proud of him. So, yeah, anyways, we're going to make it to this appointment because we only have... We have less than two hours because I got to get this one to an, a, a dentist appointment at one. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to have to rush it. So I will see you guys later on. Okay, we're back. I'm going to show you Ava's hair. She loves it now. Looks so good. Oh, sorry. It's completely different, completely different child from yesterday. I will show y'all a picture. I'm gonna look great, but this is so much more her and her style. 
So I just like seeing that beautiful smile. That's what makes me happy. So yeah, there's this one, the working boy. Hi. Look, I have, look how high I have to hold it up. So they can see all of you, like your hair too. Oh, that's we're all that's oh, I'm I like, wanted dang. to see if you notice. Like, why have to go up so camera. high? There we go. That's better. Hey, Bella. So yeah, we're back. Um, ow, you just bit me. She literally bit me. No. Um, what was I gonna no. say? Oh, his. No. His tooth wasn't no the cavity. Fighting. They had put sealant on his molar teeth, so the sealant cracked. Is that what she said? No, there was like a thing, a, not the sealant, but like the thing, something they put on top. It was, it mm. kind of like raised this tooth in the back, kind of. It was like a cap thing. I don't know, but some of it like broke off and then it was like chipped and it was really sharp and it kept cutting the back of my tongue while I was eating. And it just like, it wasn't necessarily cutting it, but it was scratching it. And it kept doing that over and over and over again the past couple of days. Um, and before she actually fixed it, it was not as sharp, but it was still kind of uncomfortable. And so they like took it off and now it feels better. So yeah. Yay. So we got all that done. I don't know. Do y'all want to go to the park tonight? Sure. We might go to the park tonight because it's not that hot. I mean, it's, it's still warm out there and I guess pretty hot. But we might go to the park. I will not be bringing this camera. <laughs> we go to the park. I will not be bringing this camera. Um, this is the same park I lost it at. But um, yeah, I, I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. Um, I kind of want to go swimming, kind of don't. Bella is like oh, vicious. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to go eat lunch real quick. But I just wanted to come update y'all. She loves her hair now. That's all I wanted was, it was making me miserable yesterday knowing that she was so miserable. And I could just tell when she was getting her hair done that she was miserable, but she won't speak up. She's so much like me. So I'm just glad we were able to get it fixed. And the hair, the braider, hairdresser, she's amazing. And she was just so cool and um, just awesome. So yeah very thankful for that as well but um yeah i will see you guys sometime either today tomorrow i can't believe tomorrow's friday this week i feel like it's gone we did a lot this week though i know like i haven't done a lot on camera but it's just been full of like doctor dentist like those kind of places that it's like i'm obviously not gonna take y'all to but yeah Anyways, I'm gonna go eat lunch because I'm hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because Friday is all about my babies and we are not gonna have a camera. So we're just gonna take the day. We're gonna have a pool day. We haven't actually been to the pool. I don't know, but your girl's getting pacey again. So it's been a minute. I think it's been over two weeks, like legit. So we are gonna have us a nice pool day tomorrow. We probably are gonna even have one Saturday. I really... This weekend, I really want to just kind of just chill out, relax, and just spend a lot of time at the pool. I think next week I'm also supposed to be going to see someone or meet someone at the mall for a meetup. I'm not sure if it's next week or the week after. I can't remember, but I'm forcing myself to go. I am going. I don't care how I feel. I am going, gosh darn it, because... Your girl needs to make some friends. But I like what one of y'all said. What one of y'all said was, the first year is you settling in. The second year is your year to make friends. And I was like, girl, yes. Uh, bring on the friends. Bring on the friends because I'm ready. And I see myself like, you know, noticing like not needing the GPS to go like certain places. And it's like exciting because I'm like starting to kind of learn to see. It just makes me happy. It just really makes me happy. And I still am like, you know, like sometimes when you do things, it's just like, whatever. Like, I'm just going to go do it. It's like no big deal. And like, I freaking just one day decided I'm going to move to the city. And I up and packed myself and my children and my dog. And I moved to a place where I know nobody. <laughs> and I was like, I wasn't scared. And I look back and I'm like, did I just 
do this? Like, did I seriously just do this? Like, I seriously don't give myself sometimes enough credit because it's not easy doing these things. And I literally was just like, that's eh, nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> like, looking back at everything that I've accomplished this year, I am so proud of myself. And I deserve a huge pat on the back. So there you go, Jill. So, yeah, I'm just so proud of myself. Um, I'm proud of my kids. <laughs> They're amazing. <sighs> just watching them back and, like, listening to them talk. And I just, I love them so much. And I will do anything in this world for them. And I just, I can't believe that there are people out there that don't want them in their lives. And then I look and I'm like, do these people realize how much amazingness they are missing out on. It boggles my mind how you can have these amazing, brilliant, creative, well-mannered, gorgeous children that you just don't have any desire to get to know and have treated like crap their whole life. So boggles my mind but it's their loss not mine I get the amazing <sighs> honor of raising these two beautiful human beings that are they just they are my freaking world like I just I can't I can't I don't know, I just have so much love for them. Um, and I don't even know why I started talking about this. But I'm just like, I, I was watching them as I was editing. I was listening to Control Talk and I was watching Ava and how happy she was with her braids. And I'm just like, man, I love these two. I just love them so much. And anyone that has not wanted to get to know these two, man, they're missing out. Because they are just, they're amazing. They truly are. So anyways, yes, this is the year I'm going to, I, or really, um, once the kids go back to school, I'm going to get back into volunteering. I'm probably going to share that story on my Patreon because we're going to get into some juicy stuff. I haven't like gone over the details. If my Patreon is live, the link will be down below. If you guys don't know, I announced it in a Get Ready With Me that was uploaded on Thursday and, which is today. Um, I'm going to start talking about like stuff like my story, stuff that has happened to me, um, a lot of stuff that happened in my relationship that I necessarily can't talk about on YouTube because of the the kind of content it is. Um, you know, I'll be demonetized or little eyes and ears can see. And while I ask them if they're OK with me talking about what I've experienced and they too have somewhat to some extent experience they're okay with it i still don't want them to know the full graphic down and right dirty you know what i mean so all of that stuff is going to be on a patreon and then also when i start dating i'm also going to and then other relationships that i've experienced i will also all the tea all the juicy stuff all the stuff that i can't talk about here is going to be on my patreon so Again, if it's live, I will link it down below in the description box, the link. Um, all of that's going to be listed on what, but I know for sure I'm going to be doing weekly videos, like get ready with me type videos, talking just about like what it's like to be a single mom, how I budget, um, Patreon you do pay by the way, um, I know I had a lot of questions. But it's stuff I can talk about behind a paywall that I can't talk about on a public platform like YouTube. So if it's live, it will be down below in the description box. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. And then when I start dating, I hope I like I don't want to like manifest and say I'm going to have crazy dating stories. But I already know that I have some crazy dating stories from like the couple of people that I kind of sort of dated like when I was, you know, what was that four or three four years ago so I might have some more I hope that I don't but you know <laughs> so yeah I will be sharing all of my dating stuff too over there too once I start dating which will be soon once I get over the mom guilt and kind of come to terms with it or maybe meet some people and 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know when it'll be, but it'll be sometime soon. I really do want to start dating this summer. I truly, truly, truly do. So um, all of that juicy stuff will be on my Patreon. So anyways, I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. You guys are amazing. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.